Hey everybody, welcome to Fantasy r and R. I'm your host Ryan and this is an episode of The Sports Bar. This is Fantasy with Rob and Ryan, Fantasy r and R. Alright, today's episode of The Sports Bar is going to be Guinness Beer Stew. This is the perfect dish for the sports pub atmosphere. I'll be putting everything you need on the screen and go over it. I'm going to be using beef stew meat. You can use lamb or mutton, that's traditional, I prefer this. Also, russet potatoes, large dices. Most of the traditional Irish recipes involve Yukon. I uh, use baby carrots, yellow onion, minced garlic. We need some butter, some thyme sprigs, salt and pepper mix, tomato paste, brown sugar, Worcestershire sauce, olive oil, a little bit of flour, chopped parsley, beef broth, and of course your Guinness stout. I use extra stout, it's a little bitter for some people. It's actually what the sugar is for. You can use regular stout if you want. Next thing you're gonna need is a big, nice pan. I use a cast iron and then we're gonna need a big old pot. You can also use a crock if you want. Get that pan nice and hot. All right, so we're gonna wanna get our meat ready. Then we're gonna have our salt and pepper mix, our Worcestershire sauce, our flour, and the olive oil. This is what you're gonna need for the meat. You're gonna take that Worcestershire, marinate the meat in it. We're gonna get that nice and mixed up. Get your hands sticky. Mm -mm. Wash your hands before you do this. All right, after that, we're gonna go ahead and season it with the salt and pepper blend. And then you're gonna mix it up again. Get right in there. Just like making mama's meatballs. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so the next step here is gonna be to add your flour. And this is just gonna help that stew liquid thicken up a little bit. You don't want too much. I don't put it in the broth like some people do. This is gonna help get a nice consistency on the stew meat and the stew uh, texture of the liquid without making it into a full-on thick gravy. Now that you've got your piping hot pan, go ahead and throw a little bit of that olive oil in there and we're going to sear off the meat. You got a cast iron, make sure you are using something to protect your hands at all time, they get very hot. Distribute the meat amongst the pan so that we get a nice hard sear on every piece. You don't wanna sear them for too long, just a couple of minutes each side, otherwise you're gonna dry that out. So go ahead and turn them over, you just see a little bit of caramelization on the side, Again, don't cook it for too long or you'll just dry out the meat. Now that it's starting to look good, we're going to let it sit for a couple minutes on that side. When that's done, go ahead and take your meat. We're gonna set it aside. It's okay if it cools down, set it aside for now. We're going to take our pot and we're gonna start the process of sauteing our onions. So, that's what the butter is for. I use butter for the veggies, oil for the meat. Wait till that gets nice and melted down on low medium heat and cook out your onions until they're nice and translucent. Mm -mm -mm. That onion smell. All right. So after that, we are going to want to take our garlic and this is only gonna be a 30 second process of cooking. You don't want to burn your garlic or toast your garlic too hard. You just want it to release some of those flavors into the butter. So only about 30 seconds max. Then we're going to take our tomato paste. Throw that in there and mix it up with the garlic and onions. This is going to kind of burn to the bottom of the pan, but that's okay. That's the whole point. We're going to take those flavors and release them back into the pot using the deglazing process with the beer. It's gonna to start to look like this, a little bit of burn on there. This is where you're gonna to wanna to take the Guinness Stout, using six ounces for this recipe. That's gonna take all of that tomato paste off of the bottom of the pan. Go ahead and mix that up well. Remember to scrape the bottom of the pan with your spatula so you get all of that goodness in there. Next process, take that brown sugar, mix it into your beef broth. I made this beef broth earlier. About three-fourths to a cup. And then you're gonna dump it 
into the beer mixture with the onions, garlic, and tomato paste. Mix that up real good. We're gonna let that come to a soft simmer, just for a couple of minutes. Drop into the mixture your thyme sprigs. I'm just doing it by hand. You don't need to chop them up or anything. Just let it release some of that flavor into the liquid. And after that came to a nice low rolling boil for a couple of minutes. This is where we're going to take all of our ingredients, the meat you seared earlier, your diced potatoes and those baby carrots, we're gonna throw them into the pot. At first you might think this is not enough liquid. Trust me it is, just try to distribute it best you can. We're gonna be putting a lid on this so it's actually gonna create more moisture and all these ingredients are obviously gonna shrink down a little bit into the liquid. Let's go ahead and put your top on. And just let it hang out for about three hours. That's what it's gonna look like after. So plenty of liquid in there. You can serve it on a dish like this with some fresh parsley, a couple of baguettes on the side, or even garnish with thyme sprigs. Absolutely delicious. And that is the episode of Guinness Beer Stew. I will see you next time. I'm your host, Ryan. This was Fantasy R&R. &R.